So we're doing a different video today. We're gonna do the every room is a different color challenge. And I'm gonna like kind of try to make it look good as in I'm going to uh, believe what the game tells me is the appropriate color. Use that even if like, you know, maybe the tips, the flowers are blue, but the stems are green. That That's fine. That's still blue. At least that's what I'm going with. My inspiration is going to be this house. I googled small Victorian house and this kind of reminds me of something that I might see in Holland, which is fun. Um, and it also has some landscaping, although, you know, if we get Actually, I have no idea. They actually just added a bunch of swatches to the landscaping, so maybe it'll be fine, but <sighs> we'll see. Um, and then I have a spinner wheel here. Unfortunately, the colors don't match up with the colors. Um, I think only green does, but yeah, I couldn't do anything about it. So um, I'm going to build the shell and then we'll come back to see what the color for the outside will be. Okay, so I guess we should spin for the outside. And well, I guess if the windows don't have the correct swatch, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Cool, so outside. Bin. Light brown, okay. Light brown. Okay. Oh, no, cool, that's perfect. Do in fact have that. That is already light brown. Cool. So I could keep this door. I could go a little bit more cottage hello? Cottagey. I kinda like the door I have, so I think I'm gonna keep it. Um, so I guess now we can continue with the windows. to a little tiny one in the bathroom. Uh, parenthood. That's kind of a similar style. Let's see, where do we want a TV? I guess I could have a chimney here, right? So... Yeah, okay, the, the walls before they're built are not gonna be light brown, that's fine. Okay, and then I guess maybe I should have checked if we had a light brown fireplace first, huh? Okay, so then I'm gonna put some windows behind. Okay. Now we were using these. Oh, there's a... Well, no, those are a bit much. Actually, I think I like the parenthood ones. Are they a little modern? Maybe. It's fine. Well, I guess I'll... Okay, that's pink. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Let's see. They're, they're, okay. They're like brown bricks. That's good. Do that. Could do that. I feel like this is more cottagey, but it's also busier. Oh, right. There's these that I always forget about. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Let's go with that. Yeah, I think I need a stonier brick. Does that make any sense? A stonier brick? Uh, okay, maybe like this. Cool. Let's do a roof trim. That's hideous. I think I need a warmer. Let's see, is there... 
guess I should double check what's classed as light brown then. So actually just the maybe then I want Okay, you know what? Actually, that does kind of look better. No, that's hideous. Um, oh, we got some nice brick. Yeah, let's do that. Make sure that there's stairs. No, that, that's gonna be like red. No. Actually, you know what? Maybe that is sufficient. This is just red. <laughs> I'm looking for something kind of warmer toned, but not straight up red. No, actually, you know what? I think that works fine. Uh, and then let's do just very busy. Just make everything busy. That's a nice floor. Okay. So the outside's gonna be fine, is what I mean. Oh, except for the uh, uh, landscaping. That's gonna be interesting. Subject to change. One tree! <laughs> okay. Um, I guess let's try making it big. Oh, okay. It actually scales up fine. Interesting. Yep. Or somehow that's. I don't know how, but short. What? Oh, okay. What about all the other rocks? <laughs> no? Okay. The other rocks are not classes light brown, just these crazy ones. Awesome. Okay, they're just so square. Which is kind of fine when you're trying to line the building. I guess maybe if I just mix it up a little bit, I can make it look a little more natural. Not much. I guess... Okay. No terrain prints, even the brown ones. Like that? Well, okay, I guess that's not... But like these? Okay, well... That's a tragedy. Truly. There we go. Well, I might come back with landscaping. Next room, entrance hall. Uh, this is mostly going to be the flooring and the wallpaper because um, it's a two by two square. So let's see what we get. Trash the light brown. Yellow! Yay! Okay, okay, okay. That counts as yellow? This stone? Interesting. Okay. Carpet, this extremely strange hardwood. Okay, and some tiles. That's kind of fun. I think I'll just do this though. Normal, some normal carpet. Okay, walls. <laughs> Let's do some walls. Okay. Okay, so we, we have some stuff that's not hideous. That's good. That's very good. Yeah, actually. Maybe this. I didn't think about when to choose doors. Not gonna lie. Uh, I guess let's make all the doors white and see if we have any yellow plants. Okay, a surprising amount of yellow plants. Oh, we got a little little hanging plant. That's cute. Okay. I'd say we could put something on the wall, but the thing is, we like super can't. Um, oh, we could put maybe a, a wreath on the inside. That's very silly. I'm gonna do it though. Now we're gonna do the bathroom. So it's time for the wheel. We have to delete yellow. White, that should be pretty easy. Um, it's gonna be like a half bath. White, oh, interesting. Floral bat motif. Oh my. You know what? Yes. Absolutely. See, I picked the floral bat motif. Now I have to choose a tile that goes with it. I can't decide if I want it to be like plain or less plain. 
you know? Maybe that. Although I might classify it as a gray. It doesn't matter. We have our choice. I think I like, oh, I really like the Codger's Living Sinks, but I'm kind of leaning towards this. Yeah, let's do that. And then the toilet, not, the antique toilet is not classified as white. Oh no, it is, it is. A copper stopper. Well, this is the most white of them. Although we do have kind of a black, black and white thing going on. So I'll do that. Let's put it here. I'm gonna move that so we can have a mirror. This is my favorite mirror because it looks like it actually has storage in it. You know, I didn't think about the giant window. Oh well, too late now. I'd say maybe a painting, but the wall is very busy. You know, you know, if we get purple for the next bathroom, we're gonna be in real trouble because there's not anything <laughs> bathroom me. All right, living room time. Okay, so bathroom bathroom went fine actually, surprisingly well. Living room, red, red living room. Okay, okay, wait, there's some red. There's a red fireplace. Oh, oh, this one counts as red. Beautiful. I wouldn't, but that's okay. The thing is, it's a completely different brick from the outside. I think there are bigger issues in this house. I'm gonna keep with this one. I like it, it's cute. I was gonna say this one might be okay, but I did just remember that we do have to do flooring and walls. That counts as red? Okay. I don't know how that counts as red. It's brown, cherry wood. Oh, yeah, okay. I will, I will accept the cherry wood. And for walls more bats. I don't think this room needs to also have bats in it. We're gonna have a lot of different reds going on in here. Okay, you know, actually that's not bad. Oh, that could be nice. I really wanted to use the paranormal stuff couch because it looks so cozy. This is not a very big living room. I have just realized. <gasps> Mushroom poofs. Okay. Oh, that's cute. That's real nice. Oh, lots of red plants. Nice. What? A snake plant. Slick tendrils slither towards the ceiling, entwined in a mesmerizing tangle, guaranteed to add a dose of sinister weirdness to any room. That just looks like a cactus. Or a succulent, probably. Actually, you know what we need? A bookshelf. Are there any skinny, non-hideous bookshelves in red? That's probably a lot to ask. Really, none of the, the, the tiny ones count as red? Wild. That's unfortunate. You know what else we need? A rug. I never had rugs in my living rooms. We had too many dogs and other pets, but people put rugs in their living rooms usually, at least in The Sims. Oh, that's cute. Oh, the Statue of Horus. Oh, that goes all the... Why? That's weird. Okay. Why on earth would I want it up there? Yeah, that's cute. Yay, please make a functional teapot looks like a teapot. Thank you. Thanking you. Um, all right, let's see if the dark works. You know what it actually kind of does? Lovely, that's actually quite nice. Oh, right, a rug. Oh, oh wait, there's this one. That's really nice. Yeah, maybe that one. A lot of paranormal stuff happening in this, in this build today, which is fun. I haven't really built a lot with it yet. I've been playing a le lots of legacy challenges. That's really nice. I think it's cute. Don't want to move this back over here a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Lovely. Now, dining room. Blue. Nice. Flooring, though. Flooring might be an issue. Okay, there's some... There's some woods. I think I'll do that. It's kind of like a breakfast nook, except not a nook at all. Kind of like the whole dining space rug oh that's nice okay i sized it down once let's see let's put some stuff in the corners what if i put like a countertop dangerous actually because then i might not it might not match the other ones and that that sounds annoying oh yeah like maybe like this that's what we used in the other room except oh what are these paranormal chests it does not match the wood color though yeah, and then I can put some of those, that teapot thingy on it. I'm a huge fan of tea, 
and quite annoyed that there's like one functional teapot in The Sims and it's kind of ugly and doesn't even look like a teapot. Ooh, curtains. Do you need some curtains? Not those. I thought those were gonna be longer, not gonna lie. Oh, these might be cute though. Blue spider webs. Huh. Oh, that's one of my favorite paintings in The Sims. What else have we got? We got a little fox. That's cute. Oh, and a little tea. A little, little beverage. Maybe it's hot chocolate. Coffee's not allowed in this house. Okay, walls. Um, oh. This is actually probably my favorite wall color. Because it's like almost white, but it's not. Actually, this might be good. Yeah. I've got a little bit of print. Tiny living? Oh, yeah, those are cute. There we go. Alright. Lovely. The big kitchen. Pink. Well, there's curtains. I guess there is that. Okay. That's definitely purple. But okay. Sure. The, the Sims recently did a color swatch update. Well, recently-ish. And I don't know if they actually tagged their updated colors because these non-used ones don't have pink. Alright, well, and this is hideous. Awesome. Love that for us. Oh my, the pink flooring. Um, let's see if we have upper cabinets in pink. Yes, we do. Now, uh, did I plan this well in terms of the fridge? Absolutely not. Okay, so now I guess the question is, do we match the kitchen, which would be this, or the rest of the house, which would be something more like this? I guess let's match the kitchen. One of these. Oh, that's a different color pink. That's a. Oh, that's terrible. Nope, 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 nope. We're gonna, we're gonna do this, which is not much better, to be honest. It's, it's not great. And then we need a sink. Bathroom sink. Awesome. Cool. Love that for us. Um, carpet in the kitchen. No, no, thank you. There's the hot pink. I mean, that kind of goes, like, unfortunately. Right. I want that there so it's less, it's like a little art toy. Pink art. I guess we could have a pet. The hot pink mat. Yay. Well, it's functional, which is good. We can bring back some of the uh, the cottage core <laughs> with the uh, the bunny and the, the chicken and stuff. Yeah. Well, that's certainly something. Okay. Well, that's done. Let's move on for the hallway. Oh, thank God! I was really worried we we're gonna get purple for the. Uh, the full bathroom and just not have a functioning house. Oh my. Okay, um, that's not terrible. Um, is there anything we can actually put in the hallway? Doesn't really look like it. Uh, maybe a painting? That's quite a few different purples. That's okay. It's a hallway. Do the bathroom next. Black. All right, so we have one black room, bathroom, one white bathroom. Interesting. Okay, there's toilets, there's tubs and showers and sinks. Awesome, beautiful. Are we gonna do this one? Cause then we have uh, some form of cohesion. Not a lot, like at all, but you know, some old timey antique toilet. And then I'd like a shower tub combo. That way you can have a toddler. And a dog. Kind of do need the tub for the dog, huh? Let's have some cohesion. And then we need a mirror. I was gonna say mirrors might be hard, but it's not actually at all. 
soap products. I think it's really supposed to be like shampoo and conditioner, but like, whatever. Cool, functioning bathroom. All right, so I was gonna say we have a functioning house, but we don't have any beds yet. I guess let's do this front bedroom. Dark brown, okay. Yay, beds. <laughs> That's very good. Ooh, maybe I'll do this one. Yeah, I, I like this floor. We could also do this cottagey floor. Except the rest of the house is not like that, so let's not do that. And then maybe a maybe a pet bed or a small small pet that I, I can actually get into. A rug, perhaps. Occult markings, you know, just casually. Oh, oh, that's nice. It almost fits two perfectly. I can't tell if I want it like that or smaller. I feel like smaller. I'm gonna put it up here though, because when you swing off the bed, put your feeties on it. A dresser. Didn't think that through. Hmm. I feel like if I put the pet bed here, that's probably enough space to walk through and we can have a dresser here. I do I do like the spellcaster stuff. It actually kinda matches this wood somehow. That's the hard part about the spellcaster wood colors. It doesn't match anything usually, except for the other spellcasting items. And that's a functioning bedroom. Because of the fact that it doesn't have wallpaper. I suppose that doesn't make it less functional, but you know what I mean. It's not finished. And that's hideous. And I really like this blue and dark. Yeah, let's do that. That's nice. And then we have a bigger painting on the other side. Yeah. Well, it's not bigger, but you know. Well, I mean, they are. But it's still kind of like a gallery wall. All right. Let's do the other bedroom now. Orange, all right. That's gonna be interesting. Got some art, that's good. Oh, okay, we have some beds, that's good. All right, I, I was a little worried, not gonna lie. I put that bed there, let's see what we have for flooring. Oh, okay. Let's see if we have, you know, like a muted carpet. Apparently that doesn't exist. At least not in an orange color. Uh, what about this one? Okay, you know what? Actually, maybe that sunset we can't have. They do not match the vibe at all. All right, you know, we're doing, we're doing like cozy, comfy stuff. Should we make this a kid's room or like a teen's room maybe? I can probably fit a desk. I don't think I could fit a fireplace though. Unless I, you know, yeah. I could have a desk now, I think. Yeah, got a lot of vibes going on here. They're very... Can I have a different wood color? Is that too much to ask? Probably. Somehow that kind of works, even though it looks pink. We do have an orange computer. I mean, sure. Orange lamp. Uh, let's maybe not put an open candle on the poof. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do a wall light, because... No. Just no. <laughs> Is there clutter that could go on the poof that does not look like it's about to fall and break? I have some books. Maybe a tissue box. Maybe some holiday cards. Let's see, what about a rug? Okay, yeah, that's nice. A little orange tree. Lucky citrus tree. I was gonna say lemon and then I remembered that they're not in fact orange. Lots of fall vibes in this room. I feel like this is a teen's room, um, although it really seems like they've got the best room. What about, not with fish bones on them. Yeah, well the, like these, you know, like a normal human set of curtains. I'm gonna attempt to put clutter on the fireplace. Ah, there we go, a single cat. So the last room, could be a kid's room, probably. Bed, a couple toys, maybe a single dresser. It's either gray or green, okay. It's green. Oh, okay, maybe this one. It's not great. All right, that, that carpet. Yeah, that would work. I need beds. Uh, there's a toddler bed. Yeah, let's, let's make it a toddler's room. Oh, that's cute. We need a toddler potty. It's nice to have a um, 
A seat for an adult? Well, nope, that does not fit. <laughs> <laughs> does not fit at all? Cool. Um, hmm. This is quite a small room, isn't it? I don't technically need a dresser because there's other dressers in the house, but it'd be nice for them to have a dresser. Maybe I'll just skip up on the dresser and just put toys because <laughs> that's more important, I think. I need wallpaper, that's important. What about this like dark green? That seems nice. And this toddler probably needs some curtains. Oh, maybe not those curtains though. <laughs> Ooh, yikes. It's kind of a weird... The color is very nice. It's kind of a weird, like, style. It's kind of a weird style, but that's okay. Alright. Oh, I should put, um... Are there any purple fences? No. Okay, never mind. No safety. No health and safety. That's fine. Alright, well... I guess I'm gonna go back to light brown. Try to salvage some of this landscaping. Oh, roof. Oh, well, I guess default roof color then. <laughs> oh wait, I am wrong. I feel like it definitely works the most color-wise. Let's have a tour. All right, so this is the house. Um, I'm pretty proud of it, actually. Uh, the outside looks fairly good, but also weird because, um, landscaping options, not many. Uh, well, we go into the little entry hall, um, which was yellow. And kind of a wasted space, but it's got like one plant in it, it's cute. Then we have the white, uh, bathroom, which was not too bad. Um, and... Yeah. The wallpaper counted as white, so it was kind of a white and black theme. Then the living room was red, got some cute mushroom plants. Mushroom poofs, I mean. Um, lots of paranormal stuff, uh, objects. I think it's cute. The blue room is the dining room. It's very blue, fairly simple. Got some paintings, you know, chairs and rugs and stuff. Uh, the pink, the pink kitchen. Everything else is kind of like cottage core Victorian-y at least a little bit. This is, this is rough. Um, I mean it, it's fine I guess. It just kind of looks like uh, a roller rink or something. Um, got the hallway which is purple. Um, which was nice because there's not a lot of, there's no purple bathroom stuff. So I was really worried we would get a purple bathroom, but we didn't, so, you know, some nice paintings. Um, we have a dark brown, like, parents' bedroom, I guess, which turned out quite nice. The dog, the small dog sleeps there. Um, it's cute. I actually really like this blue trim. Um, we got a black bathroom, so we got to keep some, got to keep the same wallpaper, you know, some cohesion, thankfully. Green toddler's room, it's a little small, so there's just mostly toys scattered about, but, you know, this toddler room. Some cute wall decorations. Um, and then we have the teen bedroom, which is very fall, very autumnal. Uh, they even got a fireplace, got a desk with like the fanciest computer um, because it was orange and it's the only thing that was orange. The only computer that was orange, I mean. And yeah, that's the house. It's cute, I think. I like it. I'm quite proud of it. Well, I guess if you enjoyed it, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube-y things. I did just forget a trash can. There's a trash can. And have an awesome day.